Okay. Oliver Morgan, which is another one of my heroes from New Orleans, uh, I met him at a benefit for um, a judge. And he decided that I needed to be heard by other people, so he started to take me around so that people like you could hear me. And he asked me, he said, <clears throat> I gotta get it right, bro. <clears throat> hey, cuts. <laughs> you ever met Fats? I said, no, not yet, I haven't, I haven't met him yet. I'm, I'm gonna take it, I need facts. Now, I just met him, so I, I didn't know him well, but I had heard that so many times before that I really didn't give it much weight, you know? I didn't think it would happen. About a week later, I get a phone call at about nine o'clock in the morning. He said, hey, Cuss, you ready? Said, ready for what? The first thing that came to my mind is I had a gig and I forgot. Right. So he said, are, are, are you ready? I said, ready for what? I don't, I don't think you're, he said, we're going to see fast this morning. And I got quiet because I knew eventually it would happen, but I didn't think it would happen that soon. Okay, so we go to Fast house, okay? Knock on the door. I'm standing there still thinking that he's not actually going to be there. No way am I actually at Fast Avenue's house. So I'm standing there and I'm thinking, yeah, we're just gonna go home. <laughs> As he's not coming. The door opens, and the first thing that strikes me is, I'm taller than him. <laughs> it shocked me that I was taller than him. And then he reached out his hand, and this, this is the good part. Okay, you ready for this? This is the good part. He reaches out his hand, and his right hand covers mine completely. Okay, it's gone. It's gone in his poem. And he leans in and he sings, If you got a bad friend in front of me, all you gotta do is follow me, take my hand. See the special me. Now, you might think that, okay, he sang your song, but it was my song. <laughs> I had done a furniture commercial in New Orleans. <laughs> and he'd heard the song and met me at the door singing it. Wow, wow. Now I'm telling you, if the man had slammed the door in my face and that was the end of the day, I would still be telling you the story. It didn't get, it, my career, there's nothing happened better than that in my career. <laughs> nothing happened better than that in my career. That, how old was I? How old were you when that happened? How okay. old were you when that happened? It was, it was 1997. It was spring 1997. So I was 12. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was, I was young. Er. Her. than I am now. Yeah. But yes, that was a crowning moment. And as soon as I walked into his house, he sat me down by his piano in his living room and he said, let me see what you got. Wow. Come on, show me what you got. No pressure. No pressure at all. No pressure None. there. None. Now, I said it before, and this is not bragging. This is from a kid who didn't really have a life in high school. I know every Fast Domino song released that I could have possibly known. When he says, show me what you got, they all left. <laughs> <laughs> all gone. <laughs> so much so that I was like a deer in a headlight. It was like I had never seen a keyboard before. <laughs> no idea where I was. And obviously I was in a nightmare. <laughs> Oliver Morgan checked me in the back like that. He said, play the fat man. Now, that's easier said than done because the fat man is a very difficult song. So I tried to play it. And he said, hmm. He made that exact sound. Hmm. <laughs> you almost got it. 
Oh, you almost got it. Let me show you. Now, in that moment, if I were not a Fats Domino fan already, I definitely would have been after I watched him on the keyboard. Because if someone draws you a picture, and you say, wow, that's nice. Very good artist draws your picture, it's nice. Then you see Rembrandt painting, that's the difference. With fast domino and a keyboard, piano, whatever, you see a master doing his thing effortlessly. And it was both uplifting and horrifying. Because I knew I would go the rest of my life and only get a fraction of what I just saw. Because in order for me to do it authentically like Fats Domino, exactly like Fats Domino, I need some extra fingers on my right hand. <laughs> I never thought such big hands could move so elegantly and accomplish so much with such slight motions. It was beautiful. And I can say to this day that that day, Fats Domino was my friend. That's right. I still, I still have his phone number in my phone. I wish I could. Yeah. I really wish I could. Yeah. Well, that's a story. Um, yes. And thank you for playing some of your furniture commercial earlier. That was, yeah. that was, that was good. <laughs> Why don't you show us a little more fraction of right. what you do with some 